What's up everyone, welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over Google Display Ads sizes and I'm going to be going over responsive display ads as well. So if you're running a Google Display advertising campaign, obviously one of the main things you need are advertisements that are going to run across the Google Display network. So as we go through and create this display campaign, the last thing I went over was targeting. If you're interested in Google Display Network targeting, I created a video about all the targeting options explained for 2022. So if you want to find that video, you can find it as a previous video on my channel. I'll also link to it in the video description. But as we come in here to create display ads, the first thing I want to go over is when you click here, you can copy existing ads from a previous campaign that you've already ran before. So if you choose copy existing ads, it's going to choose one of these campaigns you've already been running. So you click on it and then you click on the ad group within that campaign. And that's going to pull in all of these ads that you are already running here. So that's one option you do have if you do want to just import advertisements that you've already created. Now let's click on cancel here and let's come over to create a new ad. Now what I want to go over are display ads. So previously you didn't have the option for responsive display ads, but what you can do is upload banner display ads, which are the ones that you see all over the internet unless you're using an ad blocker. So if we scroll down here, one of the things I want to show you is supported sizes and formats. So if we click here on supported sizes and formats, the formats you can upload are GIF, JPEG and PNG. Now there are HTML5 formats and AMP HTML formats. Now truthfully, I've never used the AMP HTML formats ever. HTML5 formats, so you can create HTML5 ads by using Google Web Designer. This is not a tool I work with and generally when I'm creating a display campaign, I just upload standard display ads and I create responsive display ads. So responsive display ads will allow you to reach basically the entire Google Display Network because your ad is automatically going to be resized for whatever inventory Google Ads has. So the other thing you can do is upload display ads. Now there's 20 different sizes that you can see here. So there's square and rectangle sizes, there's leaderboard sizes, which I would generally refer to as large horizontal style ads. And then you have skyscraper ads, which are large vertical style ads. So basically for skyscraper, the length is longer than the width and for leaderboard, the width is longer than the length. Now, last but not least, there are three mobile ad sizes down here. So there's a total of 20 different sizes to choose from. Now, when I'm creating ads, the ones I generally prioritize are here. So 300 by 250 is gonna be one of the more popular options. 336 by 280 is another popular option. You have 728 by 90, 970 by 250, 160 by 600, 300 by 600, and then all three of the mobile ad formats. Now, what I've done for this example for this video is, as I'm creating advertisements, I created 40 total ads. So basically every single size that's available, I created a two different versions of them. So using some different images. Now the ad copy is the same in every single one. My logo looks the same in every single one. I don't really have a call to action here. I generally wouldn't run ads specifically just to drive traffic to my 52 farmhouse decorations you will love page because I just don't think it's going to be an optimal campaign just based on what I'm selling. But this is one thing that you can do. Now, in order to create these display ads, I used canva.com. I would highly recommend trying canva.com if you haven't already. It's very easy to use. And if we just come into the back end of my account, you can see we have all of these different advertisements here. You can upload images that you can put in your advertisements. You can upload your logo. You can use any text combination you can possibly think of. So what I generally try to do when I'm creating Google display ads is I focus on the main sizes I showed you earlier. And I try to create at least a couple variations because Google ads is going to deliver the top performing advertisements. If you forget what the size and formats you should create are, go into your display campaign and just click on supported sizes and formats. Now keep in mind your image files cannot be too large. So if you're creating these large image files, especially these PNG images can be very, very large in size. So I generally use JPEG images and what I found is with GIFs, they're not generally worth kind of the effort that you put into them because a lot of times you create them and they don't even get ad impressions whatsoever. So what I generally try to do is focus on these JPEG advertisements and then I also use responsive display ads. So if I were creating ads for this ad group, what you want to start with is your final URL. So I obviously want to drive traffic to this page here. 
So we're gonna come over here, enter that as my final URL, and then we're gonna upload all of the files that I have. So I'm gonna upload them now. Okay, so now I have 40 different uploaded ads and you can see them all here, so 120 by 600. And if you click on them, you can actually see what the advertisements look like. So maybe not the greatest ads in the world, but just something that's gonna run across the Google Display Network and advertise what I'm trying to promote. Now with the Google Display Network, you definitely wanna run ads that are gonna be promoting either some type of seasonal promotion or something like that, or you wanna have something where you're trying to get awareness out there about a product that's gonna drive you really long-term revenue. The Google Display Network is best set up for companies with high average order values and a large average customer lifetime value. For me, I'm, this is an affiliate website, so I'm trying to get people to come to this website, click on one of these images and go to one of my affiliates and purchase something. Not really the best way to run Google Ads, but this is really just for some examples here for my YouTube channel. So we have our final URL set, we have all these uploaded ads, so all we need to do is come down here now and click on Create Ad. So we have 40 total ads here. And if we scroll over, you can see every single one. Now, generally what I would wanna do is create ads like this. So you create two versions, and then eventually I would go back into Canva and maybe update the ad copy a little bit, maybe use some larger images. So you can obviously adjust the types of ads that you're creating and uploading. But from there, what we can do is click on new ad again, and we're gonna create a responsive display ad. So responsive display ad, you combine some ad copy, your final URL, images and logos, and what Google Ads is gonna do is automatically put together the top performing ads. So the more data you give Google for a Google Display advertising campaign, the better your campaign will run. So there's no downside to uploading hundreds of ads because what Google Ads is going to do is continue to serve the ones that drive the most conversions. Now, if your budget is $5 a day, you might have trouble getting enough impressions and clicks on all of your advertisements. But if you plan on running a long-term campaign, which is what you should be doing if you're running Google Ads whatsoever, then what you wanna do is create a lot of different advertisements and allow Google Ads to optimize them for you. So let's go through the process here and start from the top. So our final URL, we wanna enter our landing page URL here. So we're gonna paste that right here. Our business name, so farmhouse goals. Next is gonna be images and logos. So you click on the plus sign here to add images and logos. So if we click here, it's gonna scan this specific page on our website. So I could actually use some of these images. And what you're gonna see is when I choose an image like this, it's gonna allow me to choose between one or two different ratios. So one is 1.91 by one. So basically a large horizontal ad as I would kind of refer to it. And then the other one is just a square advertisement. So what you wanna do is use some of these larger images. And in this case, I would use this as just a square advertisement. So you just click on the X up here. If you click on just one of them, it'll just select that one. So just keep in mind which images you're using for your advertisements. So we'll select one ratio for that one. Now we can use this image. And for this one, I would use basically just the horizontal version. Cause if we click on the square, obviously not the greatest looking picture for an advertisement. So just use the 1.91 by one here. So if we click on it, so we can move this around a little bit if we want to, but if we just choose about right here, not a terrible picture. So we'll select that one ratio. Now you can go through and do this with different images. If you've already used images in the past, you can go back to recently used here. So I generally do this, especially for my logos because I already have all my logos uploaded, but you can see some of the old images I've used for past campaigns. Now keep in mind, you wanna use large images and you also need to see down here, by adding an image, you confirm you have all legal rights to the images and have permission to share the image with Google for use on behalf in advertising or for other commercial purposes. So the affiliates that I'm working with, I'm allowed to use these images in this way. So what I can do is upload some of the images for the different products that I have listed here. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay, so we have all these images uploaded now. So what you, what you wanna do is go through each individual image and choose the ratio you wanna select. So you can select both and see how they look. If you can fit it to look okay. So for this one, I can use this ratio along with the square. So we'll select both ratios. For this one, just the square is gonna work. So we'll select one ratio. And that's what you wanna do is just keep going through these different ratios and see if you can get it to look good with either or, or just select one. Now keep in mind, you need at least one landscape image and one square image. So just make sure you have at least one here, but there's no downside again to adding more than one because the more you have, the better ultimately your campaign is gonna perform because Google Ads can test. So even if I just wanna choose this one as a horizontal landscape image, I can also choose the square version as well because 
there's no downside to doing so. So you wanna keep going through here and adding all these images. So we'll select a bunch more here. So kind of fast forward to this part a little bit. Okay, so now we've gotten up to 15 different images here. So that's the max you can use for a responsive display ad. Now keep in mind, you can run multiple responsive display ads. So you can come and create more and more of these. So you can see I have 15 different images. We can review every image. Just make sure it looks good when it's small. So you know that when it's running on an advertisement, especially when you have some of these smaller ad formats, it's still gonna look good across different websites. Now next is gonna be logos. So with logos, I come to recently use because I've already used my logos here. So we'll select this one here. So you can see at the top, you can choose to use as an image or a logo, or you could use as both, but generally you wanna use separate images than your logos. So we're gonna choose a logo, come down, you're gonna see it's the four by one logo that we're selecting. So we'll select this ratio here. Then we'll scroll down and I know I have a couple more here. So we can see, yeah, it doesn't fit well there. So we'll come back to our results and try to find our square logo. Okay, so we have a square logo here. So we could use that as one by one, select one ratio. And then we could even come over here and just say, okay, let's use this logo as two because I still have it. So we'll select one ratio. So we have three different logos. You can use up to five different logos if you want. So if you have different looking social logos, you could always change these. Now the Ones I've selected for my ad here, I have 15 total images. So now we wanna do is click on save. Okay, and what's gonna start happening is it's gonna show over here what your ad looks like in different ad formats. So a 300 by 250 is gonna look like this. So to me, the responsive display ads look better than your standard banner uploaded ads, the ones that I uploaded in the previous step. But you can look at all of these different ad formats. So image ads, text ads, if we click on a native ad, you can see what your advertising is gonna look like. And keep in mind, we still have to add our headlines and our long headline and our description lines as well. So we need to add all of those because that's gonna make our ad look a little bit different. Now, the other thing you can do is use a video and you can see it's saying portrait and landscape around 30 seconds work best. So if I click on plus videos, you can search YouTube, but I've already uploaded a video in the past that I've used as an example. So I'm gonna use that again here. And you can see right here, I have a farmhouse goals, June promotion, for a video duration of 30 seconds. So if we click on that and click on save, then when your ad runs across some of these different video formats, you can see it's gonna actually play this video just like this. So it's a pretty good looking advertisement here. So if you wanna incorporate video as well, you can. This specific video would not work for this campaign, so we're gonna get rid of it. But what I could do is upload a video to YouTube, to my YouTube channel for Farmhouse Goals, and then I can actually just use that video and it's gonna show up in my advertisements. So we're gonna click on cancel here. We're not gonna get make sure we get rid of our video and save it, not cancel, we'll click on save. Okay, so that will get rid of the video. Now next you wanna add headlines, a long headline, so that's 90 characters. Every headline is 30 characters. Every description line is 90 characters. So what we're gonna do is I recommend using more of the different headlines here. Now if you just have one or two headlines you really wanna focus on, then just do that. But I'm gonna enter some headlines here and we'll kind of fast forward to this step a little bit. Okay, so we entered five different headlines. So I have 52 best farmhouse decorations. So my actual headline of 52 top rated farmhouse decorations doesn't fit here because there's not enough characters, but upgrade your farm home today. Usually when I'm writing ad copy, I try to focus on what people are gonna actually see when they get to the page. So 52 beautiful farmhouse decorations. It's another one that I could use, but I don't know if that will fit either. But the other thing you wanna do is just talk about maybe some things that are the selling points for what people are gonna get from your website. So unique farmhouse decor. For this, just a basic shop farmhouse and rustic decor, best prices. So you always wanna have some type of, so upgrade your farm home today. So give some reason for people to actually click on the advertisement and purchase from you. So long headline, I put together a 76 character long headline here, kinda of just matching what the page is gonna say. And then descriptions, a few more things here. So give your home a beautiful modern and rustic vibe, different things like that. So once we create our ad, we can click on create ad here. And if we scroll over all the way over to the right, we have our responsive display ad right here. So you can see everything that we've just entered with our responsive display ad. We'll click on apply changes. Now, once you do that, you're ready to launch your campaign. So you set your budget and bidding, you set your targeting, you create your ads. Then you wanna review and launch your campaign, but I just wanted to go over some of the different options you had as far as uploading advertisements, some best practices. You really wanna upload different advertisements here. So as I go through, what I would eventually do is come back over here, 
maybe use different colors. So maybe try some of my different brand colors that I have in here. Use some different images, some of the images that I didn't use on the previous ads. Maybe try some larger, more visual images and maybe add a different call to action. So instead of 52 top rated farmhouse decorations, maybe something along the lines of a sale or people can save money while upgrading their home. So this is really what you wanna do when you're creating advertisements for Google Display Ads campaigns. And again, keep in mind, you're trying to send some type of message to people so that they actually want to interact with your brand. So hopefully people seeing you know some of the best farmhouse decorations for 2020, obviously a lot of people are not gonna have any interest in this ad, but you reach the right person at the right time with the right advertisement, hopefully you can drive a conversion. So if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.